Hello everybody and welcome back. Today we are going to look at a speech recognition library in a Python. If you want to create a simple voice assistant with a Python or any other app that needs to recognize your voice and give a text from that, it can be really helpful that you know how to use a speech recognition module. The speech recognition library is not pre-installed, so we need to install it. You can do it by opening command prompt and type pip install speech recognition. We also need to install the PyAudio package. You can install it by typing pip install PyAudio. But if you weren't able to install in that way, you can go to this website. So I'm going to leave the link in the description and download the proper PyAudio. In my case, it will be this file because the CP37 means it is uh, for Python 3.7. And uh, AMD64 means it is for Windows 64. Actually, I have already downloaded it, so this file. Then you can uh, install it like other Python packages by using pip install. And then the name of the file that we downloaded. All right. Now, all required packages are installed. So you can close your command prompt and open your uh, python file you can use the speech recognition library by importing it so i'm gonna import it as the sr to make the video more interesting i thought we can create a voice dictionary and what i mean by that is when i say a word i want that the program give me the definition of that word therefore i created this uh, words variable which is a python dictionary and contains several words uh, with their definitions. But you can use any other uh, dictionary API or Google Translate API to translate words. I didn't use an API because I wanted to keep it simple. Anyway, first of all, we need to create an object of recognizer class, which is in the speech recognition module. Then we're going to use that to recognize the speech. So I'm going to create a variable and I will name it recognizer. And I will assign it to sr.recognizer. We also need to create an uh, object of uh, microphone class. So we will be able to capture input. So sr.microphone. And I'll name it Spike. Then I'm printing uh, listening. So we know when should we speak. Okay, now I'm going to use the recognizer to listen on this uh, microphone and store the output in a variable and I will name it audio. Now we have an audio, we can use the Google Web Speech API to recognize the speech and get text from that. You can do it by typing recognizer.recognize underline Google and pass the audio as an argument to this method. Then we can uh, store the output in a variable. So in this case, I'm going to call it text. Now I'm going to print the text and run the program and check if the, it is working. So I'm going to run it and say a word. Illusion. Okay, it is working actually. We got the word illusion, which I, I just said it. Okay, before we go on, let's uh, look how to get text from an audio file and not just using the microphone. So I'm going to comment this line first. Then you can create a variable and you can name it uh, audio file or what you want. Then you can uh, assign it to sr.audio uh, file. The audio file method takes an argument which is the path of the audio file. I already have an uh, audio file in the same folder as my python file so i'm going to just write it audio file dot wave then we're going to use the record method from recognizer to extract the audio data from audio file so with the audio file as a source recognizer dot record then i'm going to pass the source as a argument we also need to store the output in a variable, so I'm going to call it audio. 
Then we're going to use the uh, Google Web Speech uh, API as we did before to get text from the audio. So recognizer dot recognize on the line Google. Then I'm going to pass the audio as an argument and save the output in a variable so i'm gonna call it uh, text and i'm gonna print it and uh, save the program and now i'm gonna run it and see if it is working so if it is working uh, it will print the python is a cool sentence because it is what i said in the audio file so i'm gonna run it Okay, now we got what we expected, so it means it is working. Now, because I'm going to use the microphone, I will comment these lines and uncomment the microphone part. So far, we was able to get text from what I was saying in a microphone, and it will be stored in this text variable. I can change it to word first. And I'm going to delete the printer segment. Now I will see if this uh, word exists in the keys of uh, words variable. So if uh, word in a words keys, then I will print the word plus uh, a column plus definition of uh, that word. So, okay, now I'm going to save it and run it. Illusion. As you can see, now we got the definition of uh, illusion. And uh, the, this definition actually was here. So, yeah, it is working. Okay, guys, that was all for this video. I hope it was helpful and if you had any question you can leave it down below and if you enjoyed the video make sure you hit the, the like button and subscribe to the channel so see you next time